Welcome back to Community Connections. I'm your host, Colleen Allen. Every winter, elementary, middle, and high school students submit their holiday-inspired artwork, all with the hopes of being selected as the official artist of the HISD Holiday Greeting Card. This year, the competition was extremely tough, but in the end, Sam Houston Sr., Alexandra Lartigue, beat out the competition and took home the top honor as well as a set of holiday cards to send to her family and friends. Joining me now are Alexandra and Sam Houston art teacher Patty Hernandez, along with HISD Community Engagement Administrator Samantha Gonzalez. Thank you ladies for joining me today. You. Samantha, let me start with you. Tell me a little bit about the Holiday Greeting Card uh, program that HISD has every year. Sure. Um, the Holiday Greeting Card Contest started back in 2003 with um, Dr. Kay Stripling, who was superintendent at the time. She had this idea that she really wanted to reach out to all of our community and partners and let them know about the talent that we have here at HISD. So she thought of this Holiday Card Contest and what a better time to reach out to so many people through the holidays and really display our student body talent. Okay, and so this year we, as in every year, we have many students participate. How many did we have Yes, submission? this year um, we had about 60 uh, students that chose to participate in the holiday contest, and wow. um, that's elementary, middle, and high. Okay, and um, I know that the final selection goes through Dr. Greer, and so talk about that, how that whole process works. That's correct, works. Colleen. Um, so the process is that each school submits one piece of artwork to their chief schools officers in elementary, middle, and high, and the chief schools officers then pick their top 10 picks. After which, Dr. <laughs> Greer comes in and picks his favorite, um, naming it HISD's official holiday greeting card for that year. Okay, and it's such an honor because it goes, this, this is actually the district's official card and is, is sold um, to raise funds for the district as well as uh, the, uh, is sent out to all of our community partners and business leaders and parents and whomever else uh, is on That's the mail That's correct, list. and the students can send it out to their families, um, employees, families are able to order the cards as well if they want to send some out and you order it through our print services department. Okay. Now, Ms. Hernandez, I know that you are an art teacher at, uh, at Sam Houston. Yes. Talk a little bit about just art in general and, of course, with the holiday uh, inspirations, but just students and art, the love of art. Okay. Um, I find that Sam, Sam Houston students really care about art, mm -hmm. really like it. They love the competition. I had several students submit to our principal, Ms. Crump, mm -hmm. to be selected. But Alejandra was selected. Okay. And um, right now we're getting ready for the rodeo art show, so there's always some kind of competition that's motivating them to stay on top mm -hmm. of their skills. And so as, a, as an art teacher, how do you keep them motivated and, or how do you help them come up with some of their inspirations? Um, in the beginning, uh, I show them a lot of drawing techniques and skills to gain their confidence so they feel that they are able, excuse me, to perform mm -hmm. better. We look at lots of different artists from the past and present for inspiration. Okay. Have you, um, you know, come across a student who maybe wasn't quite as uh, confident in their art style mm -hmm. and then you've, you know, watched them kind of blossom throughout the school year? Yes, and that happens quite a bit. Usually, when I, I teach mostly ninth graders, uh -huh. so when they're coming from elementary, a lot of times they're nervous about being in sure. ninth grade and <laughs> they don't really come out of their shell until later. But we do a lot of practice. Um, we experience a lot of art materials, and so, yeah, it kind of brings them along. So, like, Alexandra, again, congratulations to you. It's, it's such an honor, and I think that you're um, very unique because you were a finalist last year, as I understand. Correct. So tell me a little bit about um, why you decided to enter again and the inspiration behind uh, this year's design. Well, mo all my teachers motivate me to strive for the best that I can do. And also, I'm, to be honest, I'm a very competitive person, so <laughs> I want to, like, I know I can do the best, so I push myself to do the best each time. So if I don't do it well the first time, then I'll get it the second time. Well, good. And, and, and you did indeed get it the second time. <laughs> so let's talk about the inspiration behind your, your uh, art piece. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, what inspired me was the, the Christmas feel, not just symbolically, but your surroundings, the scenery, the the warmth of like the colors that I incorporated in the piece. I wanted 
for the viewer to s to feel the the feeling of Christmas. Okay. Um, how long did it take you to work on that? Uh, I'd say about a week. That's it. Yeah. Okay. And so, what kind of walk me through that process? How did you do it? I mean, well, I I did homework. Then, like extra time, I would finish a, finish it up, and pretty much, yeah. Do you plan on pursuing any um, art after you know high school? Yes, of course. That's like my number one thing. I think of art twenty four seven. It's all I think about. It's m my like your passion. My passion, yes. Okay. What are some of the your favorite types of uh, art to to create? Well, my personal art is more surrealism, surrealistic. It's very from it comes from the imagination, dream like scenarios and okay. stuff. That's wonderful. Well, were you surprised when your name was called? <laughs> At first, yeah, I, I got nervous. I, it's like nerve wracking and yeah, I was very happy. I was proud of myself. Well, you should be very proud of yourself and I, I think most importantly, you showed that you never give up. You can come back and still mm -hmm. uh, a second time and you know, you, you took it. And, and so I think that's a good inspiration for some of the other students who may have entered this year or might come back again. So congratulations again. Thank you. Your, your art piece was very um, special. <laughs> and so you. we're very proud of you. And I think, Samantha, why don't you tell us a little bit about how folks can order the wonderful uh, art pieces by Alexandra as well as the other? Sure. Um, the holiday cards can be ordered um, through our print services department, and all of the proceeds help the art departments throughout the district. And um, they were emailed uh, to the art teachers and principals, so mm -hmm. if anybody wants to order anything, contact your principal or your art teacher at your school, and they'll get you the form to submit to our print services. Wonderful. Well, Ms. Hernandez, thank you for all you do for the students with art, and, and Alexandra, we wish you much, much success, and we're gonna be looking to hear big things from you in the art world, and you have to come back and share all your wonderful collections with <laughs> HISD students and inspire them as an alumni, okay? Thank you so much. Coming up next, Houston is known for its mild winters, but this year students at several HISD schools are bundling up in order to get fit. We'll explain when Community Connections returns in a moment. 